Hi, I'm Brian Hendricks, and today I've got a African wildcat skin here that's in really poor condition. It was commercially tanned, but it was grease burned and very poorly handled in Africa. And when they're grease burned, they just will not tan up nice. Areas of them can, other areas just will be real weak and fall apart. And that's the case with this skin. Uh, the back half of it is pretty much shot. Um, there's no stretch to it, so you try to stretch it and it just tears. Uh, the front half is relatively good, so I'm going to try to make a mount out of the front half. Um, you can just see how weak it is. You can sometimes salvage these skins by just kind of wrapping them around the form, but this one here, it would have been way too long and skinny. So, so here I am, I'm going to I'm stretching it out after it's been washed. You can see I'm getting some width out of it and then the legs and stuff. So like I say, the front half's pretty good on it. And you can see it's a little ragged there at the edges of the back where I cut it off. So I'm going to start doing some repairs. I'm using the latex glove or nitro glove and uh, super glue gel or tech bond glue, the heavier viscosity stuff. Put a little smear of glue around the hole and just touch, a, touch the glove to it and then trim it off. It, it, it cures almost immediately. So it's a very fast way to, to patch small holes. Larger holes I like to sew. Um, on a larger hole, if you use the glove, it's gonna you're gonna need long fur there because it, as it dries, it can open up. So that's why I typically sew larger holes. Uh, Short-haired African stuff, you definitely want to sew that because the patch can open up as the skin shrinks and dries and expose a big patch of the glove there. So sew those. You can use the glove on you know along with the sewing just to seal off the, the hole you know after it's been stitched, so you know there isn't gonna be any glue coming through. But uh, it's a real quick, simple way of uh, patching a lot of little holes. I'm doing ears right there, which is really great for doing ears. So This is a great, fast way to patch a lot of small holes, um, like pellet holes if something was shot with a shotgun. It's great. Uh, if you want to see this in real time, go back to my Red Fox mounting series, and you can watch it all regular speed. <laughs> 